All right, I'm going to complete this problem following the exponent rules and method that we talked about last week. Um, <clears throat> in class, we went over an example that was similar to this where we simplified inside first and then we moved everything around. But I'm going to go ahead and just bring all the exponents in to begin with. So I'm going to get 2 to the third power, x to the sixth power, y to the third power, all over y to the twelfth power. So when you raise a power to a power, you have to distribute the exponent to all the terms, making sure to multiply the exponents. I'm going to do the same thing in here to get 16 to the negative 1, y to the negative 4, all over x to the negative 1, y to the negative 1. So I brought in that exponent to every one of the terms. Now I'm just going to simplify some things move around some negative exponents and see what I get. 2 to the third power is 8. x to the sixth power can stay there. I have y to the third power divided by y to the twelfth power. That's going to simplify to 9, an exponent of 9, and since there are 12 down here, this side kind of outweighs these um, y times y times y. So three of these will cancel with three of these will be left down with 9 in the numerator. I'm then going to take anything that has a negative exponent and move it to the other side of the denominator and that will ha make it have a positive exponent. So 16 to the negative first, I can put that down here and it will now be 16 to the first power which is just 16. y to the negative fourth I can now write down here to be y to the fourth. x I can bring up to be x to the first and y I can bring up to be y to the first. So now if I simplify, if I multiply the top here, I'll get 8. This will be x to the 6 times x, which is x to the 7th, times y. And down here I'll have y to the 9th times y to the 4th, which is y to the 13th. And I'll have 16. Finally, I still have some y's up top and down below, which will simplify in 8 and 16. Well, 8 and 16 reduce to 1 over 2, 1 half. x to the 7th just stays x to the 7th. 1y will cancel with one of the y's down here, so I'll have 12 y's left down below. So this is my answer. Now this is following the method where we take the exponent and just immediately get rid of the groupings. No power of a power, this is power of a, a quotient actually. So I immediately just brought in the exponent and raised everything, including the 2, and over here, including the 16. You're raising it to a power of negative 1. You're not multiplying 16 times negative 1. You're raising it to a power of negative 1. So once I bring all of the exponents back in, multiply what I need to, I can then worry about simplifying either, you know, if I just have integers raised to exponents, I can simplify them. Or if I have x's or y's that can be combined up top or down below, it's then, you know, as you see that you can cancel things, that's what you should do. So what I would suggest is to maybe go through this exact problem and try to simplify it another way. You know, you may want to just see if you can do it one or two different ways and get the same answer. That way you can see how those methods play off of each other.